Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, I'll show you how to install the Elementor template kit using the Elementor Pro plugin. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how to install the Elementor template kit using the free plugins. However, many template kits are not compatible with free plugins. So you will need to install these template kits using Elementor Pro plugin. For example, this is one of the template kit designed for Elementor Pro plugin. So in this case, we will need to install the Elementor Pro plugin. Let me show you the requirements of this template kit. Whenever you install any template kit, you need to see what are the requirements of the template kit. Now in this example, you will see it is compatible with Elementor Pro plugin. So these compatible template kits will create the header and footer automatically. You don't need to do it manually like what we did in this previous video. If you want to watch this previous video, I'll give you the link in the description box. So I'm going to download this template kit and I'm going to show you how to install it. I'm going to download it from elements.envato.com. And on this website, you will see more than 3000 template kits that you can use. You can sign up for monthly subscription and you can download n number of template kits for any kind of website. If you do not have Elementor Pro plugin, you can go to the Elementor website and get the Elementor Pro plugin. I'll give you the link in the description box because this is one of the best page builder plugin that you will need to create any kind of website, whether it is e-commerce website or any business website, you can create it using Elementor Pro plugin. So let's see how we can install the template kit using Elementor Pro plugin. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. And uh, let me show you the website. This is the basic website and I do not have any plugin or any theme installed on this website. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to install the theme. So let me delete some of the themes here. I do not need these themes. So I'm going to delete these themes. I'll keep one and uh, let's go to add new and we will install the free hello theme. So this is the basic element of theme and we are going to install this hello theme. So click on install and click on activate. So we have the basic theme installed. Now it is asking you to install the basic element of page builder plugin. We will do that later. Now I'm going to create a page. We have some default pages. Let me delete these pages. And I'm going to start with the home page. Let's click on publish. All right, let's go back. So before installing the actual template kit, we are going to make some changes to the basic WordPress theme. So we have created the home page. Now let's go to settings and go to reading. Under reading settings, let's select a static page that will be the home page. So we are going to assign the home page as the main page of your website. Click save changes. Now let's go to permalink and make sure that it is set to post name and click save changes. Now we are going to create a menu, click on menu and create a new menu, main menu that will be the name, create menu. We have the home page, so select the home page and add the home page to the menu, click on save menu. So we have got one home page, we have created the menu and we have set the home page as the main page of the website. Now we are going to install the Elementor plugin. So click on add new. I do have the basic Elementor as well as the Elementor Pro plugin. So I'm going to install that plugin. So let's click on upload plugin. And let me browse the Elementor basic and Elementor Pro plugin. So this is the plugin that I'm going to install. This is Elementor basic plugin. Install now. Click on activate plugin. Let's close this. Now let's go to plugins again, click on add new, click on upload plugin and upload the Elementor Pro plugin, click on install now, click on activate plugin. All right, so we have the basic plugin as well as the Elementor Pro plugin. Now let's go to Elementor and go to settings. Under settings, you can check these boxes, disable default colors and disable default fonts. So now we are going to use the font and colors from the template kit. So you need to check these boxes. Click save changes. All right, now let's go to templates and click on kit library. 
So let me show you the template. This is the template kit that we are going to install. And this is how the website should look. This is one of the websites for the HVAC or the AC repairing services. I have already downloaded the template kit. So I'm going to upload it now. Let's go back to the WordPress. And here we are on the kit library. At the top, you will see the option here, import kit. Click on it. Now we need to select the file. So click on select file. I have it on desktop, so I'm going to select the template kit from the desktop and click open. Click on import. It says first enable unfiltered file upload. So I'm going to enable it. All right, so your kit is now live on your site. So it is installed successfully. Now click on close. Let's go to templates and go to theme builder. We are going to create the header and footer for the website. So on the theme builder, you will see these options, header, footer, single post, single page, archive. So these are the parts of the website that you can create using the template kit. So if I go to header, you will see that one header is already created using the same template kit. So this is the header that is created. I'm going to edit this one. So click on it and open the header. All right, so you can see the header section here. Now, this is the logo. If you want to change the logo, you can change it from here. You can add your own logo. You can add your own content there. If you want to change this, you can simply go to that section. From here, you can change the content. These are the social media icons. If you want to change it, you can simply go to that section and select the so social media icons. You can add your own link there. If you want to delete, you can simply delete. Or if you want to add, you can add the item. Now here we need to change the logo so I can click on the logo. Uh, it shows you need to select the site logo. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this option and go to site settings. And under site settings, you will see site identity. And this is the name of the site. So I'm going to change it to let's say HVAC. And here I'm going to select the site logo. So if you want to upload, you can upload your own logo. As of now, I'm going to use one of the demo logo from here. Select. And I'm going to upload, update it. Let's see, we have the logo here. So this is kind of different logo, I think. Okay, now let's exit from the site settings. And you will see the updated logo here, but that does not look good. So I'm going to change this logo again. Let's go to site settings. So these are the dummy images. So you can change them and you can add your own images there. So let's use this one. Update it. All right, you will see new logo. I do not want this icon here. So I'm going to delete this one. And this is the logo. So I'm going to leave it as it is. You will see the menu here. That is the menu that we created, main menu. So if you want to customize it, if you want to change the size, you can simply change the size of the columns. All right, so once you are done with the changes to the header, you can simply update it. And here you need to add the condition for the entire site. So this header will be applied to the entire website. Click on save and close. So we have got the header section. Now let's go to theme builder again, go to footer and go to edit. So here you will see the footer. Now, if you want to customize it, you can simply go to that section. You can add your own content. For example, you can add your phone number here. You can add your email address here. In the left hand panel, you will see the settings of that particular section. So if I select this one, you will see the setting to change the content for this section. This is the contact info. You can see icon list is used for the contact info. So you can make changes from here. This is the logo. You can change it. You can add your own logo. This is the copyright content. You can change that from here. So I'm going to change it, let's say. All right, so I just want to add this message here. So I'm going to update it and click on add condition. That will be for the entire site. Click on save and close. So we have got the footer installed. Now let's go back to theme builder. Now, if you want to create layout for the single page, you can go to single page and from here you can create a layout for the single page if you want to create a layout for the blog you can create the layout for the blog one layout for the blog is already created i have separate videos on all these layouts 
I'll give you the link in the description box if you want to learn how to create layouts, single blog post, blog page, single page. And if you want to use WooCommerce, then you can create layouts for the single product shop page. So as of now, I'm going to close this one. So we have got the header and footer ready. Now we are going to edit the home page. So let's go to pages and go to home, click on edit. And from here, you can select the template element of full width. So we are going to use the element of full width template. Click on update and click on edit with Elementor. Now we are on the home page and you can see that we have the header and footer for the home page. So now click on add a template and go to my templates. We have uploaded the template. So you will see the option here, my template. And under my template, you will see home. This is for the home. Click on insert. And you will see the template has been added to the home page. So all the content, all the images will be added to the home page. You just need to change the content on the home page. Let me save it. And let me show you how does this look. Just click on this one and click on view page. Now you can see that the home page of your website is ready. If you want to edit any section, you can simply go to edit with Elementor and from there you can change the content of the home page. Now let me show you how you can create one more page. Let's go to new and go to page. And this is the page I'm going to create contact page. Select the template element of full width. Click publish and click on edit with Elementor. Now we are on the contact page. Click on add template. Go to my template and you will find a template for contact. Click on insert. If you do not find any template for a particular page, you can use the template of another page. Or you can create a layout for the single page using the Elementor theme builder. So this is the contact page and you can see the contact form is already there. If you want to edit the form, you can simply go to edit. And this is the Elementor Pro form. I have a separate video on how to use the Elementor Pro form. You can watch that video for the settings of the contact form. And from here, you can change the image. You can add your own Google map. You just need to enter your address and it will show the map of your location. From here, you can change these content items. Click update. Let's view the page. And this is the contact page. So one by one, you can start creating the pages for your website and your website will be ready within minutes. You just need to edit the template. That's it. So using the Elementor template kit and Elementor Pro plugin, you can create any kind of website within minutes. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.